Hello viewers, this is Bracken Neutron here once again, and due to some new information regarding the Vidley situation, this will be a follow-up to my Vidley kerfuffle. Please watch that first before you continue. I'll give you some time to click on the description link. After my video came out on April 15th, there's already been more BS being shoveled out by Vidley Team. First, there was the ban of J reviews after its announcement of leaving. Very weird, though I was never into his content. The previously banned Dark Scythe, the person who introduced me to this bandwave actually, made a YouTube video talking about the detailed problems Vidley is facing. It's a very good video you should seriously take a look at after you watch mine. But this nonsense is still getting some diehard fans of the platform to defend Vidley's big screw up. Spider Fan is probably the most notable example I know of, if only because it's the only person I watched the defense from. About that video, I take issue with his mirroring of the views Vidley has towards trolls and angsty ranters, saying they have no purpose on their platform. I kinda straw man what he said at that point, albeit exaggerated slightly, in the comment section. Though, because I prefer to clarify my annoyances, a more detailed explanation was provided by me by a reply. Essentially, I say that Vidley isn't good at trying to be an alternative, and I suggest changes to their definitions of hate speech and drama. You know, like my last video? As it turns out, I might have fallen for one big trap all this time. Their site apparently is not supposed to be an alternative to YouTube at all. The same moderator from the kerfuffle video elaborates that this was more or less a passion project and only tried to emulate old school YouTube. When I heard that, I kind of felt robbed. This site's only merit was for nostalgia purposes because those people who still cry about the layout changes are some of the most reasonable people ever. Though in hindsight, I can completely believe what their purpose was intended for. The site is filled with facets the old YouTube had, excluding the layouting community. Videos with no purpose, complete copyright infringement, both, and memes, both new and old. This feels like a site for crap posters and shows who have no creative impulse in them, but the vibe partly makes me think this was all by design. My content did not fit remotely with their goal. It's too modern to be nostalgic for, not milquetoast enough to get into the featured section, and not worthy of being cared for. You might also notice how my layout has changed into a more depressing looking channel design. This realization has driven me to the point where I am officially abandoning the site, and nothing will really change that. The breach on free thought was bad enough as is, so was the sheer ineptitude of the moderators, but the nail in the coffin is how I was tricked that this site was a viable alternative. The only good thing to come out of this mess? I only uploaded 6 videos and never uploaded regularly. The videos will still remain on my channel at the moment, as most are exclusives, but I will distance myself as far away from this site as possible. Honestly, it just deserves to rot and be buried so no one can discover it. And last time I checked, new user registrations are unavailable, which to me shows that the site is literally dying. I'm still scouring through the web to find a good enough YouTube alternative, but currently Vanilla and BitChute aren't on my mind. That about wraps up both my usage of Vidly and this follow-up. This is Bracken Neutron signing off, and while the site slowly rots, I'll be watching Looney Tunes back in action and listening to some Outer Very underappreciated movies and albums, respectively. Oh, and for those hankering for something more in my typical style, don't fret. A response to Bendeluni is planned to come out by the end of this month, so pay close attention. Bye!